Today's topic is First Amendment auditors, what to do if you face citizens who are impeding police facilities or operations in the name of transparency or free speech. My name is Steve Serbalik and I'm a panel attorney with ASCOPS in Arizona. Social media generally, and YouTube specifically, has created a market for individuals to make what are known as First Amendment auditor videos. These videos can involve civilians entering police property with the supposed purpose of trying to shed a light on police activities, but are often used to attempt to bait police officers to look bad on the internet when the officers attempt to have the auditor leave. So here are some things to keep in mind. If the auditor is standing on public sidewalks that are generally away from a police facility, they are on what are known as traditional public fora. The word fora is the plural form of the word forum, and a forum is a public area which, back in ancient Rome, formed the center of judicial and public business. So the term public fora refers to areas that are historically used for free expression. An auditor in a traditional public forum that is simply recording what's going on around them is likely not violating the law. Unless you have reasonable suspicion that the auditor is engaging in some crime that's independent from the filming, it's best to probably leave them alone. That said, if they're impeding others from using the sidewalk or are engaged in disorderly conduct with non-police personnel as the victims, there may be a reasonable basis to stop and question the auditor. Now, if the auditor is on police facility property, for example, if they're inside a police station lobby, the auditor no longer is in a traditional public fora. They're in an area that's specifically dedicated to the functioning of the police department. Members of the public are invited in to police facilities to report crimes or to engage in legitimate business, but lobbies are often small and not staffed to accommodate public protests or auditing functions. Additionally, other members of the public who would need to enter the lobby to engage in legitimate business could be prevented from being served if an auditor's actions were requiring police personnel's attention. For these reasons, officers can ask an auditor to leave the lobby after explaining that the area is not open for auditing or protesting. If the auditor refuses to leave after receiving this explanation, the auditor can be arrested for trespassing. Additionally, the walkways and patios immediately outside of police facilities, the ones that are intended to accommodate visitors to the facility, are similarly not considered public fora and therefore auditors who do not have a legitimate business purpose for being there can be asked to leave and arrested for trespassing if they do not comply. To recap, just because someone wants to film the police by defining themselves as a First Amendment auditor does not give them the right to trespass or to interfere with police operations. These situations can be handled by explaining to the auditor that he does not have the right to be there and that he is being given a lawful order to leave the area that's not a traditional public fora. If you have questions or comments about First Amendment auditors, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe for more law enforcement lessons. Videos come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.